Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Don't I look like a hot mess? <laughs> I've been out working in the garden and in the yard today. It's been a great day to work outside. And I noticed I have some winter sewn jugs that need to be open. So I figured I'd take you along for a reveal. What are we opening today? You'll find out right here on Garden Jen's Journey. I just wanted to quickly show you our brand new additions to the homestead. These arrived just a few days ago. These are khaki campbell ducklings. <laughs> they are very skittish ducks, but they're wonderful little ducks. Um, as you know, or may not know, I bought some khaki campbells earlier this spring. And I have one female and two drakes. And that doesn't bode well for a healthy flock. So I ordered these ducklings from McMurray Hatchery. Very pleased with how they ship the ducks and um, everything like that. And so in a couple of weeks, these guys will be going out to the main pen. But I just thought I'd show you our brand new babies right here on the homestead. Now let's go out to the garden. We have another brand new flower pot added to the garden to bring in pollinators. It's the same variety as the one down yonder, right there, just a different color. And I've already seen some massive bumblebees on this guy. So I'm very excited to bring that in. Now I'll take you over here. I just put these jugs out today. I'm so excited because I've been quite behind with COVID and everything else um, to get all these jugs out here. I still have more to do, um, but we'll get them done. But for now, I'm excited to get these ones out here today. <clears throat> so these jugs are the ones that are ready to be opened uh, to get acclimated to the direct sunlight and wind. Um, as you know, um, when you winter sowing, uh, you take the time of trying to harden off plants out of the picture. All you have to do when it's time to transplant is open the jugs so the seedlings inside can acclimate to direct sun and the wind. And it only takes a day or two, if that, depending on your climate to acclimate these bad boys. So I'm going to set up my camera and then I'm going to open these up and show you what they look like. All right, so first up we have some cilantro. I didn't get a lot going uh, simply because the weather was just not really good right now. Cilantro likes it cold and we've had a heat wave and a frozen wave, a heat wave and a frozen wave. So cilantro wasn't very happy, but I do have some in here. And the pot's done for this time. That's okay, I've used it three times. All right. Okay, so there is our cilantro. I've got three healthy large shoots and one tiny one there. So there's that one. I've got another container of chard. Only a couple of seedlings in here, again, because the weather has just been so wonky. some Swiss chard. These are some carrots. These are Royal Chantenay's. All right. Look at those beautiful carrots. Beautiful. I have some more carrots. These are purple dragons. All right, look at 
look at those gorgeous and you can see I plant a lot of carrots and stuff in here I overseed but they will do just fine when I clump plant them later this is tarragon Got a couple of seedlings in here, very nice size. Yeah. All right, we have some straw flowers that are ready to open. This one I taped so good I can't get it undone. <laughs> All right, there we go. And there's our beautiful straw flowers. This is the same, it's another variety of straw flowers. There we go. We've got some chamomile on the jugs here. All right, beautiful chamomile. And last but not least, we have more straw flowers. There we go. So that is the reveal for today. We have more jugs that are still growing. They're not ready to open yet. And like I showed you, some more jugs that we just planted. So we'll see how they do and I will keep you updated. So I hope that gives you some more encouragement that winter sowing works and you can grow wonderful seedlings. Well, I've got to get to planting some more of my containers that are ready to transplant. As you can see, we've got rain that is in the forecast. So I need to get them planted so the rain can water them in. If you found this video encouraging, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit subscribe below so you can stay a part of my journey. And wherever you are, I hope you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.